Hey, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. Today I'm working on my Stampin' Dreams blog hop for March. The theme is Easter or Spring. In my case, I'm going to do Spring because I already have a mock-up of Easter that I'm going to use for my Easter pen pals, or as I call them, card pals. And now I'm working on my Spring card pals layout. I have about a dozen to make and send out. And I wanted to show you some coloring. I had done a video talking about the blends and working through the lights to darks on a sample sheet, which I had gave I gave a couple of examples. I have now finished them. So for today, for I'm going to do a squirrel for spring, and I want to show you my colors, light to dark. For the light and dark smoky slate, they don't get light enough for getting the highlights of my squirrel, so I'm going to use N0 and N2. I didn't own N2 when I first did my squirrels, so the squirrels I'm going to show you actually use C0 and C1. So you can see the very light C colors, and then the smoky slate comes into play where his back and his tail meet and they are a little different color tone so I've done some color matching since this time of the squirrel and made a couple of Copic purchases to help get my lights to darks complete and I'm going to go ahead and color one of the squirrels with C1, C0, C1. I don't own N1. I would love to have N1 I believe I actually owned N2 and I bought N0. So for this guy, this is the lightest gray, and I would love for Stampin' Up! to end up with a set of lights. I really like being able to get the full color range. If your paper, if you're not, I think I've said this before, if you're not using a paper that can handle a heavy load of the alcohol ink on it, which you can experiment off to the side with some sample paper before you actually get to your real project and figure out if your paper can handle the load. So I recommend if your paper doesn't handle the load to do what I'm doing, which is kind of light, a light flicking is the best way to describe what it is that I am doing. So I finished with N0. I'm going to go in with N2. You can see the difference there in the colors. And I'm just flicking along. I'll go back with the N0. Because I'm doing a small project, it's pretty fast to get a project complete when they're they're this small. So there he is with the ends. And now I'm going to go back through with the lightest smoky slate and see if I actually want to go any darker than what I have done. So this and this smoky slate light is really quite dark. Oops, and then his little cheek is probably too dark. So I chose N over C because it's a new N is for neutral. And I think it blends better with this this than the C. This little guy's going to have a little bit darker face. The lucky thing is that, you know, squirrels come in all different colors of gray, so if you end up with a little bit too dark, that is all right. All right, so his fluffy tail is done. He is colored, and now I'm going to move on and do the C. And then I have one other topic after I finish this. I'm only going to color the squirrel today, 
we're not going to do the whole thing. I do have the colors that I used out. So C is called cool. And when you have the, the there's four different Copic colored tones of gray. And when you see them all together, they are quite different. I do not own C2. I own the odd numbers of the C's. I ended up with the even numbers of the N's because they came in a lot that I bought. Alright, so that is C1. Going back over with C0 to do some blending. And now we'll see how the lightest smoky, split, smoky Slate Light. So already you can see the tone is totally different. But it was the color. I only had the C in the lights. We have wind today. We're not sure if this particular area called Sierra Vista in Arizona has wind because it's a higher elevation. In Washington State, the eastern side of Washington State, not the Puget Sound side, gets really windy. And so we are thinking that this might also just be a windier place than your average place. They look very close to me. I would just say that you can see in this part of the tail, if I lift it up close, I think that the N color blends better with the smoky slate than the C color does. So that's just a little experiment I wanted to, to do. So I have a couple of squirrels already colored and one project complete, but I think I will switch over to using the N colors for matching with Smoky Slate. And then here I'll go back and show you my matching chart that shows the N0, N2, and the color tones match very close. Even the basic black, the N matches, matches the better of the three that I own. N, W, and C. W is for warm, and it didn't match at all. So that's the color match, and then let me show you my project. Here it is, all colored. And what I did is I used the subtle. This is similar to my Easter card, only instead of an all-white card, which I did for the Easter one with the bunny, I went ahead and took the gingham and embossed it with the subtle and did the same with the circle die. And I think it looks really cute. My flower is these three colors. It's actually Pineapple Punch with Daffodil Delight Light. And maybe on the very ends here there might be Daffodil Delight Dark. In the center I did the purple which is the Highland Heather light. And for the flower center, I picked an orange. I might have just done pumpkin pie, I believe, was what I did for that. The second topic that I wanted to talk about, which is signing your art. I think of my cards as artwork. And so legally, if you sell your Stampin' Up! cards, you need to have the copyright Stampin' Up! on the back. I do sell my cards and I have made a little set of a stamp set using two stamp sets. To get the iHeart stamping is Apron of Love and there's iHeart stamping and I also have very nearby Made with Heart is another one that I'll put like for family if I'm doing cards for family. I could even for these Easter and spring cards put made with love. And then the copyright. Oh, I don't have the stamp set for the copyright. I will be right back with it.
All right, I'm back. Make a Difference is the stamp set that has a whole bunch of hand, you have hand stamped by, and then you can put your domain name on there, and Made with Love, and here is the copyright Stampin' Up that, there's, I think there's another Hostess set that has the Stampin' Up. You could use this little bar, decorative bar as well, and kind of build it out. Now I keep my my whole three row signature and then what I do is I sign it and I feel very strongly that if you create you should sign your work so you can get credit for it so some people have a stamp made I hand sign all of my cards before I put them in a in a little the clear bag and make them for sale now the next thing so here's my card now I've discussed my signing of the card and then the color, the little colors. I decorated my envelope. So, you know, in Fable Friends, which is the set that the squirrel is in, there isn't a really good, um, what I would call an envelope stamp, just a little cute something. So what I did is I took the squirrel stamp and I put him in the bottom right corner peeking and then just did a little part of the flower. So I'm on the envelopes, they are not really geared toward what I would call the blends. So you just wanna be light, very light flicking. And I'm just going to just do a hint of color, not full on color. This isn't even the color of each of my squirrels that I've done are a little bit different. And I'm going to grab the pumpkin pie light as well as foamy blue light for his hat. Just going to color him very lightly. Flicking is what I call it. And then I do like to do white gel pen highlights. And we're going to do our N for him. His little jacket just a bit of it peeking out I pulled out light seafoam and light old olive that I was doing the leaves with the leaves are very very fine very thin so just just a light flick will get the leaves colored a little bit of N2 and then I think I'm gonna call my envelope done I will be posting pictures at the end of this video of my matching. All of my color matches that I've done, light to dark, with the blends. Again, I only own a subset of the Copics, so if you have Spectrum Noir or any other alcohol markers, I even did Petal Pink in his here so I'm gonna grab that and you can do your own color matching these charts you can get the blending charts online any style you want and then I think I already talked about in the previous video which I will hook into the end of this video where I got my this this particular design of of blends that has the section that you can do some practice ones you can see where I've practiced before I committed to each of the main squares or rectangles I played with my lights to darks and here let's look at the other sheet this one's pretty busy it has lots of practice colors lights to dark variations and then each rectangle the six of them are where I've actually committed to um, the color sets that I will reference when I'm 
making a project and I need to do a very light petal pink or I want to do here's where I used pumpkin or pineapple punch and daffodil delight mango melody mixes perfectly with pumpkin pie so that's a great like a sunset blend so I'm really happy that I finally broke down and made my color charts I had lots of charts from before in a, in a very small book and those are gone so I had to revisit them I would have had to revisit them in any case because of the blends coming out with more and more colors I'm just going I had done daffodil delight light and now I'm doing pump uh, pineapple peach pineapple peach pineapple punch light and if I like I said if I want to get really fancy my white gel pens I have them in various thicknesses this one is an eight and I can put dots in the center and some highlights on him just like that and the envelope is done I hope you enjoyed peeking at my project for the Stampin Dreams blog hop for March and see how I've done my color matching for mixing my blends with the Copic so I can get lights to darks and again I will take pictures of my blend sheets and will attach them at the end. I will also add them to my blog article so that you can have them and download them for reference. But remember, you'll have your own colors. You probably won't have the same colors as mine. They're just an example to get people thinking about extending their blends as they await more colors to choose from. Thanks for watching.